before it turns on. Oh man, I'm gonna have to adjust my voice all kinds of different ways for this. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to get a little bit more in depth with my hearing aids. If you guys don't know, I have profound hearing loss and I do need hearing aids. So it's been a long time since I've had hearing aids and I've had these for a while and I was going to make this video earlier but with the whole quarantining whatever the heck is going on, I haven't been wearing them as often as I should, but I did have some people remind me that I haven't made this video yet. So I pulled out some old hearing aids and I have my phone so I can show you guys the whole thing with like the app and the Bluetooth and yada yada whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys first my old hearing aids and I'm going to compare it to my hearing aids I have in my ear right now. So this is a hearing aid that I had from, I believe, elementary school. It's pretty big in comparison to the hearing aid that I have right now. They do put like a mold in your ear and you have to like wiggle your ear around to get the thing. And then, oh, don't squeak. Oh, I'm gonna turn this off for the moment. Um, and then this is the hearing aid that I have now compared to the size this one is a whole lot smaller and the little mold is a heck of a lot different that made no sense um, also the little wire is not like a hard plastic if you guys don't know I do I do have I do have I did have reconstructive surgery on my ear over here so having the hard hearing aid plastic was really difficult for me to wear oh and now i'm gonna feel like a freak i was gonna put this one on <laughs> so this one should still kind of fit my ear but you guys can see like how crazy it is or oh, is it gonna fit in my ear i thought it would oh yep it still fits pretty snugly in there but um it's hard for me to get hearing aids to fit behind my ear right here a lot of times they just kind of do that <laughs> um that is ex exactly what I remembered it to be like and then after a while it would hurt a lot to um wear this hours on end and yeah it's coming out my ear and if I wiggled it would be a pain in the butt but one thing that I like more with the hearing aid that I have now is that the wire is really light and it fits pretty perfectly on the little like fold that I have on my ear I don't really know what the heck is wrong with my ear I don't know what's wrong with me at all <laughs> but this thing it doesn't take up my whole ear and this part fits right where this little thing is so I can turn like this wiggle and the back part of my hearing aid doesn't come out because a lot of the times I would go and <laughs> sorry it's so weird for me to talk with putting these in my ear and take them out because I have them off and I have more hearing loss on this side so when I Put the hearing aids in my ears I literally can't hear anything so I'm trying to talk without hearing myself and if you guys know what that's like it is hard but with this one oh man it's so weird <laughs> to go through different hearing aids but with this one you guys can see I just I don't even have to do anything and it's just oh uh, man and also this one doesn't have any Wi-Fi, the same kind of thing. So if you pop it like this, it's the same thing as my new ones. If you pop the little door, then it's off. And then if you swing it open, this is where you put like the little battery in the hearing aids. And it's the same thing with these ones. You just pop them open and you got your batteries. Now this hearing aid, doesn't work anymore 
Um, I did have two of these. I have no idea where the other one is. <laughs> Whoops, well, they don't work anyways, but I am very glad that I don't have these anymore because these were a pain in my butt. We used to have, me and my mom would get double-sided sticky tape to try and like tape it to my head right here. It gets stuck in my hair. We try to do all kinds of things like headbands to stick it stick it in my ear we tried um normally they have them um, where they're all connected like i can't take anything apart from these hearing aids this one i don't know if you can tell but you can pull this part off and we tried longer piece of plastic shorter piece of plastic um i don't really know the right terminology for all the different parts of a hearing aid but it was a journey. Next hearing aid I have is from, well, actually, let me tell you the brand. So this one is Senso, is what it says on here, is the brand. And the ones I have now are by Phonak, which I've been liking. And the ones, the last hearing aids that I had before these was in middle school. And I was in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, and then I got my reconstructive surgery in 8th grade, and after that I didn't wear hearing aids. Um, these, this hearing aid is by Octacon, I believe is how you say that, I'm not really sure. This one was really tiny. This one, we, I was really sensitive, I have a lot of scar tissue that never really healed up healed up correctly so um depending on like glasses sunglasses anything that goes behind my ears is really sensitive so i decided to just get one hearing aid since this side of my this ear is a lot worse than this ear so uh, the last time that i got hearing aids i got this little one which is super tiny it's actually tinier than the ones that I have right now. You guys can see it's just a little bud and this thing is kind of like a triangle and I didn't really like this one all that much. So I put it in like that and then I'd have to wiggle it into my ear. But this one, it's not as noticeable, but for some reason I just really didn't like this one. It just, I don't really like the, the bud part of it. And it's, I don't really know. But this one didn't have any Bluetooth either in middle school. I don't even remember when Bluetooth came out. So the whole Bluetooth thing with hearing aids is very new to me. <laughs> but um, this one has the little hearing aid door on the very bottom and you just kind of pop the door like that and then you put the hearing aid in here. I did find these um, I think two years ago before I got these hearing aids and I did put some batteries in this to try and see if it work and it doesn't work anymore unfortunately. So these are my old hearing aids to compare to what I have today which makes me feel like a robot. Uh, hearing aids that I have today. With my hearing aids, they have the molding and they have this little button on the top of both of them. It's kind of hard for me to use because these are pretty tiny in it and I don't really, I'm not really used to hearing aids all that much, but if you press it once, you can answer phone calls, you can adjust volume, um, you can do a few other things with this little like button thing here and so what I do in the morning is um, I have the little battery thing I pop these open and I have a little machine that cleans them because uh, my old hearing aids this one I used to have a jar of these white balls and you'd put your hearing aids in there and it would like suck out the air and these ones have like a LED cleaning thing that's going on. <laughs> I don't know, but whenever I go to sleep, take them out for the day, I pop the battery open and I put them either in a case or I put them in the cleaning thing. And when I take, when I put them in the 
LED cleaning thing and then I take the batteries out. So then you just pop it, the battery in, and it takes a second to, um, it has like a little jingle, doo doo doo, before it turns on. Oh man, I'm gonna have to adjust my voice all kinds of different ways for this. Okay. <laughs> Do, 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 do. So that's what it sounds like when they turn on. And now everything's super loud because I went without my hearing aids for a little bit. So with these hearing aids, they are Bluetooth. I don't know if I like the Bluetooth all that much because I think I grew up without having Bluetooth. But basically any of my stuff, oh, let me show you, I have my phone on my phone here, they have the left hearing aid and then these are part of the app. So right now I can go into my music. If you guys want to take a look at what the music I listen to, let me know if you know any of the, the music that I listen to. <laughs> but just putting it on. It plays pretty loud. Like, the music that I play through these hearing aids is better than my beats that are like $400, <laughs> which is insane. And I can watch videos, music, um, my phone rings in my ear. That part I would like to turn off. I don't know how to turn that off. If you guys have any tips with that, let me know. But it's very weird when you're talking to someone and your phone is in like your purse or something and <laughs> all of a sudden I'm like, my phone is ringing. <laughs> Make like a face. I'm like, I can't help it. But there's this app on my phone here that's called My Phone X and I click on it and it's connecting. There we go. So this is the like when I go to the audio audiologist, they have like a special, like they tune my hearing aids. And so that's what the auto sense is, is like the regular. And I can turn up my hearing aids and be super loud, <laughs> or I can turn them down a lot to where they're pretty much off. And then I have it back to normal. So that's pretty cool. And then there's like different little things that you can go through in this app. So if you're watching TV, there's a special one for watching a TV that has like all the adjustments with like the microphones. And then there's one for like music if you're at a concert or if you're just like listening to music in the car. And then there's restaurant um, that helps to get rid of like background noise. Here we go. So then this one is for restaurants. And you can't really tell all that much a difference when you're just like sitting in a quiet room. But if you're in a restaurant or like a really crowded area and you start playing with it, it is so weird that I can go from like hearing everything to like just the people that are in my circle. Because that's the one thing that I've struggled the most with with having my hearing aids now is I've gone so long with not hearing any kind of background noise and not having what am I trying to say so like normally people hear air conditioning and they can like tune it out to me I've never really heard it so it, it's gonna take me a long time to tune it out and same with like big crowded areas I can't really tune it out because I haven't really heard it and my brain doesn't know how to turn, tune it out yet. So this is really helpful. And then there's another one that's like speech and noise, which I believe is for like, if you're having like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone. And now we're gonna go through all of this fun stuff with my phone. So you can adjust like the frequencies. So you can like put, Oh, you like put the bass up. Oh my God. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I can um, let you guys hear what I hear, 
but like it's so weird to hear my voice like with a lot of bass <laughs> and then um middle what is middle what does that sound like middle 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 oh that's kind of weird <laughs> and then you can do like the treble so you can make yourself sound really high pitched and i hate that <laughs> Because I don't really hear high pitches, so high pitches are not my thing. And then again, you can adjust the volume, and then you can put on noise reduction. And there's a thing called a uh, speech focus. So like if you're talking to someone, you can like turn this up and it'll help direct towards the speech, which makes it sound crazy because I don't even know how the heck it these things know the difference between like background noise and like talking and then like for the noise reduction i can turn it off to where i hear like the air conditioning or i can turn it up all the way and i don't hear the air conditioning anymore there's this thing on the bottom here called dynamic and you can like move this thing back and forth and it'll help find like your the sounds that you like and then there's clarity and comfort so comfort is a little bit more um if you see it like changes everything with the controls so comfort it like turns everything down a little bit and then turns off like the background noise and then with clarity it turns up my voice so i can hear my voice a lot more than with the comfort and I can only hear the air conditioning a little bit. And then of course it has like all the little menu things with your profile, your hearing diary. Um, so you can go to your hearing aid. Those are the kind of hearing aids I have if you guys are interested. And then you have like a remote control. And um, I do have a thing that I can plug into my television and my hearing aids will connect to the television. So the television can be off and I can be going around or like the sound will be off, but I'll hear it in my ears, kind of like a Bluetooth. Or um, if you wanna let everyone listen to the TV, you can have that on, but your like hearing aids know to like, hook it up which is awesome so there's a lot of interesting things with hearing aids even though i have had hearing loss ever since i was born i am not an expert on hearing aids whatsoever i will say these hearing aids i have right now are my favorite hearing aids so far in my entire life um these i can run around with them i can move my head around they're not gonna fall out of my ears the music in here is freaking awesome i might have to get rid of my my beats because i replaced them because with my beats i have um over the ear beats because of my thing with my ear again um things that go in my ears just aren't cool with me and i don't like wires so i have over the ear headphones and they don't irritate my ear as much but like with those to get ready with like putting makeup on like they're over the ears so like this whole part of my my face won't get makeup on it because I have my headphones on but now with my hearing aids on I can sit here and do my hair I can put my makeup on and they're hidden back there another thing that I've noticed with my hearing aids that is kind of annoying is that they have these um little ball type of things let me see if i can show you um so they have this thing i have no earthly idea why the heck those are on there what they do what purpose they serve but um my hair gets caught on them sometimes and when i flip my hair back it'll yank my hearing aid out of my ear and i'm like whoa <laughs> So that is one con that I have with these. I just don't know what the purpose of these little things are. I don't mind them because I feel like they fit um, like in this little, what is it called? Um, you Like 
it kind of hugs my ear a little bit like where the like dip in my ear is right here it like kind of I don't know kind of like hooks on to my ear in a really weird way but yeah that's a little update on my hearing aids one thing that I do have to know about the Bluetooth is that since we're in this century and everything's like super technology, um, everything has Bluetooth. My phone has Bluetooth, my laptop has Bluetooth, my TV has Bluetooth, my truck has Bluetooth, like everything has Bluetooth. So sometimes um, my hearing aids have trouble figuring out which device to hook up to. So sometimes when I get in my truck, um, my phone connects to my truck or um, to play music. And sometimes my phone will connect, reconnect with my hearing aids. And because it normally plays music right when I get into my truck, it'll play music right in my ears. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> like full volume music in my ears. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's one thing that's annoying um, that I haven't quite figured out yet to the living with hearing aids again is I never really know what's going to go on with these hearing aids. It's kind of like a guessing game and sometimes things like freak me out and sometimes everything's normal but there still are sounds even though I've had these. Let me see how long has it been since I've had these hearing aids? I have no earthly idea. February 14th is when I officially got them. Valentine's Day so it's been two months and there's still things that are bothering me. Um, my hair still bothers me, <laughs> like with sounds. I don't know why, like the whole hair noise is just so weird. And I would ask people, like whenever I first got my hair made, I'm like, do you hear your hair? Like this is the strangest thing. I totally forgot about it and then um, I don't know if you guys watched my initial video when the first day that I got my hearing aids, but um, that video, the one thing when I first got my hearing aids, I was thinking of like all the things that used to be so annoying to me that I remember from having hearing aids and I completely forgot about my voice. And that is one thing that is so weird from like being able to hear your voice to like not hearing your voice <laughs> like the whole volume thing gets really weird and it's kind of like I haven't been filming with my hearing aids because I can't hear myself talk so I always have to talk louder if that makes any sense so I don't hear myself so I talk louder to adjust myself and then what I noticed with filming with my hearing aids on is that I could hear myself and it like freaked me out <laughs> so I started talking quieter and then I had for the first time ever I had a couple people comment saying that they couldn't understand what I was saying and I never want to have that happen with my videos so yeah it is a hard time to adjust my volume um, with hearing my voice and not hearing my voice and trying to figure out like how loud I'm being how soft I'm being because I don't know. Um, something that has recently been kind of strange is the wind. So it's been pretty windy, springtime, tornado season. Um, and so the whole like leaves rustling, you know when the, the gust of wind comes and you can kind of hear it in the trees before it hits you? That noise is freaking weird. <laughs> I don't know why it's so weird to me, but it's like, whoosh, I'm like, what the heck? Oh my gosh. And then I found out my neighbors have like wind chimes that I didn't know about. And those things get really annoying. <laughs> and it's kind of fun though to have hearing aids because I don't know, I kind of like having the control over if I can hear or not, you know what I mean? Like if I want to not hear, I can just take my hearing aids out. If I want to be able to hear what people are saying, I can put my hearing aids in, I can turn up the volume on them. So I think that's 
pretty cool. Hopefully with making this video, it kind of gets me motivated to wear my hearing aids more often. I need to start a routine of putting my hearing aids in the morning, putting on my hearing aids in the morning, putting on my glasses in the morning, being able to see and hear in the morning. Cause I don't know if you guys know this, but you are so exhausted when you get hearing aids or like, even if you get like a new pair of hearing aids or you get your adjustment, your kind of like prescription adjusted with your hearing aids, it is exhausting. Like that feeling that you have when you sit there and you have like a learning session for like hours on end and your brain is just like overwhelmed. That's what it feels like when you get new hearing aids. And so the first like two weeks, three weeks, I was so tired and even like now um, it's hard to readjust because when you don't wear your hearing aids, you're kind of like putting yourself back at the at start at the start point and even though you're halfway through getting used to it you're putting yourself back every time because you get tired you're not used to it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any other like hearing aids seeing whatever problems and questions <laughs> let me know in the comments I'm pretty open about all of my issues with me well not issues like I don't know you know what I mean all of my my problem self if you have any questions let me know but if you guys haven't seen my initial hearing aid video I'll have that one right over here for you guys this video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel